Hello friends, welcome back. We are doing lesson 11, unit six in phonics. Let's get busy. I'm going to share my screen with you. Alrighty. And let me get rid of all this extra stuff here. All right, lesson 11. Our learning targets, I can sort words with different spellings for the N sound. I can label pictures with the matching word. And I can also ask and answer questions about key details in the story, the yard sale. So we're gonna practice reading words with the spelling alternatives that you've learned so far. And we've got worksheet 11.2 and 11.3 to look at. So if we go to our worksheets over here, 11.2 and 11.3. On 11.2 here, we are going to sort the words by their spellings for n, okay? N being spelled with one n, n spelled with two n's, and n spelled with a k and an n. And let's look at those 10 words at the top. We have since, running, knit, winner, dinner, sent, me, not, nerve, and fence. Okay, so you're going to sort those words. Then on this page here, we're going to look at the spelling pattern. You're going to fill in the chart. You've got the root word, meaning that's the base word, the main word. We're going to add the ending ed to it, and we're also going to add the ending ing to it. But remember, when we have that short vowel and it's followed by a consonant, we double the consonant and add either the ed or the ing to it. Okay, so you've got the word tan that has changed into tanned and tanning. That was your example. So you've got three words there, grin, plan, and scan. Okay, so you need to do those three words. And then let's see here. We have to write the correct words on the lines. We've got scent, not, dance, goose, mouse, knee, fence, prince, and moose. And you know what to do basically. You write the word under the correct picture, okay? All right, so let me get it up to our next one there. And let's get back to our slides. Okay. And this right here shows you a picture of 11.2 that you were to do. So our reading today is called the yard sale. And I know a lot of us have been to yard sales, haven't we? So it says turn to the table tents and find the story. Well, we don't have the book. So we are going to flip to our next screen and it says a yard sale is an event where someone sells used things in front of their home. It is called a yard sale because it sometimes is held on a patch of grass or yard in front of someone's home. And there's the yard sales, right, for example. So let's preview our spellings. We have n spelled with K-N, like knapsack and We have s spelled with C-E is price and choice. And then we have A as in sale and games. Let's pre preview the vocabulary. We have yard sale. Remember, what is a yard sale? A yard sale is an event where someone sells used things in front of their home. Coil. A coil is material that is wound into a circle. We have selfish is not thinking of other people. We have the word thrilled. Thrilled means it's very excited and happy. Bin is a container that holds things. Then you've got two for the price of one, meaning it's an expression that you only need to one items, but you get two things. <clears throat> so let's read to find out how Grace makes a decision 
at a yard sale. I'm going to go to that. I'm going to escape out and go to our story here. So the yard sale. Grace went to a yard sale. There are lots of things for sale at the yard sale. There were books and games and shells. There was a long coil of rope, a knapsack, and a lamp. There was a rack of plants, excuse me, a rack of pants and dresses. There was a bin filled with forks, spoons, and knives for the kitchen. Grace spent some time looking at the books. She found one that she liked and one that was perfect for Jill. There was just one problem. She did not have the cash she needed to get her book and one for Jill. She would have to make a choice. <coughs> Grace saw that she would have to get just one of the books, but which one should she get? She looked at her book, then she looked at the book for Jill. In the end, she dropped her book back in the box. She is looking at the books. Grace went to see the man who was having the yard sale. She said, I would like to get this book. Did I see you two books, said the man. Yes, said Grace, but I can't get two with the cash I have. So I would like to just get this one, my sister. Well, said the man, you are in luck. We are having a sale for sisters who are not selfish. That sort of gets two books for the price of one. So run back and grab that book th that you liked. Grace was thrilled. He ran back and got the book. Okay. So let's go back to our slide here. Ask some questions. What is for sale at the sale? Well, there were books, there were games, there were pants, there were ropes, there was knapsacks, there was lamps, dresses, forks, spoons, knives, right? Okay. Why can't Grace buy both books? She doesn't have enough money, does she? What does the man having the yard sale say to Grace? He said, we're having two for one today because you're not selfish and you can up your sister. What does that tell you about Grace? That she's not a selfish person, is she? She thinks of others before herself. So how could you describe her? She's not a selfish person, is she? She's kind hearted. Okay, so let's go to our activity page. So for sale at the yard sale. Hmm. We went over it in our story, so look back in our story, okay? What is Grace's problem? Yeah, she was going back and forth with this because it was a hard choice. She made the right choice, though. How was Grace's problem solved? What happened? How was it fixed? And number four, why did a man let Grace get two books for the price of one? did he see her doing? Hmm. All right. Get back in there. So we have a new list of spelling words this week. These are words that you will be studying at home. These words will use the spelling alternatives that we have learned for the mm sound as well as consonant clusters. So, mm, spelled with one M, like maps and mice. We have mm, spelled with two Ms, like hammer and trimmed. We have our consonant clusters, skipped, scrub, and space. Notice our consonant clusters being SK, SC, and SP. And our tricky word this week is could, could. So we have our page over here. I go back.
here is our spelling words that you will take home with the words on it. Maps, mice, hammer, trimmed, skipped, scrub, space, and our tricky word could. So our learning targets are, I can sort words with different spellings for the N sound. I can pull pictures with the matching word. I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story, the yard sale. Okay, we got some wiggle cards. Jump the fence. So act like you're jumping a fence. Make a sad face. Get a book from your knapsack. Knit a scarf. Trace your name in the air. Glance at a pal. All right. So that is the end, guys, of this lesson. I will see you back here, same time, same place. Bye, friends.